jacket ready. Oh, no, that's insane. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Yesterday, I uh, received uh, two orders, which were the blacked out grills for my car and um, the blacked out indicators, which have like a dynamic sort of indicator sort of thing. So that means that it kind of like goes across like the Audi sort of indicators. So I'm going to unbox these now and then I'm going to go and take them out to the car and then take, take the original grills and the original indicators off and then put the new ones on. So, yeah, let's do it. So in here I've got the indicators, it shows you how to change the old bulb and then put these on instead, which hopefully they fit all right. I hope so. They're like blacked out. Hopefully it will look really good on my car. Um, and hopefully that fits my car because I think that just slots straight into where the bulb was. And then this kind of hooks onto where the last one was. This bit here hopefully hooks onto where the last one was. So. Yeah, we'll give it a go. If not, I might just stick it down, put like sticky tape around the outside. But yeah, see what happens. Right, so as we come down to the car, I love all the dirt and everything, but uh, this is the indicator here. You see that it has like, it has like sealant, sort of glue around the outside. So what I've got to try and do is try and pry that away from the car. Hopefully it'll just come off pretty easy if I just put something in there and then try and pry it off. And then yeah. Oh yeah, here's my new M badges I put on. So I've got that one. Obviously got the back one. Like that. And then also I've got this one down here. Yes, yeah, so that's the M badge there. I thought that was a good place. Like if I put it down here it might not look right. Um but yeah, so the indicator, as you can see, is fully clear and you can see the indicator and it's not very nice, not as nice as a blacked out one. So I've got this tool from Halfords. I think it's £16 for the set of like the little things. So this will go under here. I just pulled it off it's literally just pinged off so I think the main thing that's keeping it in is this clip here and here's the lead for the indicator so I'm not gonna pull that out too much but right so I think this comes off somehow or this comes off I'm not sure which one comes off but yeah, I'm gonna look it up 20 minutes later Right, so I got very confused, right? So on the car, this does not look like it will go into the into the black bit, like I said. Like, there's no slot for it to go in, so. Right, so I've checked online, and my bit, the bulb, will not fit into that, like the bit that I bought online. The dark smoked uh, indicators, right? The actual slot, I'll show you in a sec, doesn't fit anywhere in here like the ones I thought I bought but what happens is these indicators are these indicators here this thing here that does not slot into anything right this is actually made to go where the bulb would be in this bit so this white bit has got to go back on so that somehow slots inside this and to take this off you need to like pry this little white line here pry it up and then and then twist this from 
this side of the nut and twist it to the side then this bit just comes loose and then hopefully I'll be able to plug this into this bit right here, right on the bottom of this bit here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes right now. Right, so what I've got here is the biggest flathead screwdriver that I could get. There you go, so I just primed under there with that to pop it out. And then gonna turn it, and then boom! Oh, there's the bulb sorted. Oh, there we go. So that's just popped straight out. Put that down, and then you get the new indicator. So let's just check if this is the right one. Yeah, that's the right side. So whichever side slides in straight away is the side that is the side that's correct, if you know what I mean. Like that. Right, so now I'm gonna go fit this into the car and then test it just to double check it's on the right side. So, right, it says a little number here. So it says two on this side. You can see, a little two there. And then it says BMW on the other side. So you put the two in the side that says, there's like little numbers, you can, you can hardly see there's little numbers right there. And it says two on one of them and one on the other one. So whichever side the two is on on this, you put the two to the two, like that, and then clip it in until it is solid. Right. So I'm going to go start the car now and see if it works. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just plug in the key and then click the emergency trunk or button, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's working. Here we go. That's nice. I put it in around the wrong way so I have to read it. So what you do is you marry that up onto the end of the metal here, so this little bit here. I'm just gonna dust this off a little bit. The old one's been off for ages, so Marry that flat bit up, and then right, marry that up, squeeze it across, and then it should just slot in like that. Now when I'm turning it, look at that. How sick is that? Very nice. I think that looks sick from that back here. Right, so I just noticed something so sick. So when I uh, unlock the car, I know, sorry, when I lock the car, or when I unlock the car, when I unlock the car, watch this. Oh, now that's insane. I'm sorry, but that's just the best mod. All right, now onto the grills. I'm trying to do that now. So here's the old grills. Um, they all have chrome on them, and then this is like a matte black. It's not as nice as the new gloss black ones that I got. There's six clips. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Okay, so we've got to do one, two, three, four screws, and we've got to uphill this. And then we've got to go from there and try and 
pull this back a bit, all right? You just, all you do is pull it from one side like that, and then just pull it up like that. So yeah, I've got the T, the T30 on the screwdriver. Six hours later. Oh, there you go, I got one. That's one. That's two. That's three. Yeah, finally got the bottom clips out. But well, basically, you see this bottom bit here? I put, I put that, just hooked it underneath there as I pulled and then just yanked it and it just came out. So you literally just pry that underneath there and just pull it and you get it out. You don't have to use exactly this tool. But... Yeah, left one, yeah. So now I've got the new grill. Oh, well, we're going to put the new grill in straight in like that. Right, so what you do, yeah, is you line up these clips with where the old ones were. And then all you do is just clip it straight and then give it a little yank to see if it that's in that. down that gap there you've got to get those clips that are down, right down the bottom three hours later can you move it along i'm all out of time cards